Well, we're learning more tonight about the teen who was shot and killed yesterday in Tacoma. That teen was struck by gunfire in an apparent act of violence that police say still does not have a suspect. Our Zach Anders was on scene yesterday afternoon and joins us again with some new information tonight. So, Zach, what are you learning? David and Jamie, we've been able to learn that this 16-year-old was, in fact, a student at Foss High School here in Tacoma. Now, that school was in a modified lockdown today. They say only as a precaution, and that's just when they're restricting who's coming in and out of the building. Now, the school district, Tacoma Public Schools, did send a letter to parents which offered avenues of support for their students, and the school says it had additional counselors on hand today. Now, we're still waiting on word from officials and from the family before releasing this young man's idea identity, but tonight leaders from the newly formed Tacoma Community Response Team did share that this young man meant a lot to a great many people. You know, it's it's hard to deal with. In Tacoma, teenage homicide is at an unprecedented level. I don't think that there's anything new that needs to be said. I think at this point in time, it's really about the response. Of the already 10 homicides this year, half of those victims were under 18. A 14-year-old and two 16-year-olds have been shot and killed, ripping massive holes in the social fabric of these communities. Our job is to, uh, to be there, you know, for these families, because oftentimes when events like this happen, um, there's retaliation, and we want to prevent uh, any form of retaliation and allow the law to be able to do their job. This month, the Tacoma City Council agreed to create a community trauma response team led here by James Watson. Its goal, provide crisis trained volunteers at times of serious loss to steer family and friends toward resources and to abate as much grief as possible. Like yesterday at the Lakeside Landing Apartments. And so that's where we step in as a, as a resource, as a buffer to the family and just try to get as many questions answered for them so that they feel a sense of uh, some peace, even though there's still trauma, you know, going on in their lives. For me, it's, it actually hits directly home. Uh, besides my civic responsibility, pastoring, I, I actually am a football coach at Falls High School, and uh, this young man was part of our program. And uh, we pride ourselves and have been very intentional in building a family atmosphere with great young men. And the newly formed community response team was activated for the first time last night. They're urging the greater Tacoma community to join them in trying to end this epic epidemic of young people in the line of fire. From Tacoma tonight, Zach Anders, Fox 13 News.